When we think about sound money, what comes to mind? Gold, silver, Bitcoin. What makes a coin or currency have a sound monetary policy? To better understand how this concept applies to Cardano, let's first take a look at total supply versus circulating supply. A total of 45 billion ADA will ever exist, of which approximately 34 billion is currently in circulation. Cardano's monetary policy seeks to ensure that the rate of inflation remains low over time and the total supply of ADA coins remains relatively stable. This is achieved by controlling the maximum percentage of Cardano coins that can be released in a given period and thereby controlling the rate of Cardano inflation. The Cardano monetary policy is based on a rigorous analysis of the cost and risk associated with inflation, as well as an assessment of the effects of Cardano's circulating supply on its overall value. This allows Cardano to ensure that its coins remain valuable over time. In addition, Cardano's monetary policy is designed to ensure the long-term sustainability of the network by encouraging stake pool operators to provide ongoing support for the blockchain. Stake pool operators are compensated for their support with a proportion of coins minted each epoch, as well as from transaction fees. So a broader question to ask is how do we get anybody to do anything? Incentives. Cardano's monetary expansion relies on a long-term commitment by stake pool operators to provide ongoing support for the chain. This commitment requires a solid and stable incentivization mechanism for the operators, so this mechanism must ensure that the incentive system does not significantly change over time in a way that might adversarially affect the operator's income. Cardano's monetary policy addresses two key issues. The first is the necessity to offer rewards for people to participate in the network. And the second is funding the treasury. So let's take a closer look at rewards. The expansion and future improvement of the Cardano blockchain will be greatly influenced by its community, who need to be incentivized through rewards to participate in Cardano's development. Staking rewards for delegators and stake pool operators come from two sources. Firstly is transaction fees. Fees from every transaction from all blocks produced during every epoch go into a virtual pot. A fixed percentage of the remaining ADA reserves is added to that pot. And the second is monetary expansion. A certain percentage of the pot is sent to the treasury and the rest is used as epoch rewards. This system is designed to ensure that the portion of rewards taken from the reserves is high at the beginning when transaction numbers are still relatively low. This incentivizes early adopters to move quickly to benefit from high initial rewards. And over time, we'll see that the number of transactions increases, additional fees will compensate for smaller reserves. This mechanism also ensures that available rewards are predictable and do not vary dramatically. Instead, rewards change gradually. The fixed percentage taken from remaining reserves every epoch guarantees a smooth exponential decline. The Treasury is another important aspect of Cardano's monetary policy. The Treasury's goal is the provision of funds to develop Cardano activities through a voting process. This necessitates a process whereby funds are regularly sent to the Treasury to ensure that funds are always available. Currently, the parameters are set where 20% of the monetary expansion and the transaction fees are sent to the Treasury after each epoch. The mathematics and game theory underlying the Cardano monetary policy make it a sound economic model and provide stability to holders and network participants. It will be very exciting to see the growth of the ecosystem thanks to these well thought out parameters. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Another great way to help support the creation of this content is to delegate to Kaizen Stake Pools. Join us for our next episode of the Cardano 101 course, where we'll discuss smart contracts on Cardano. I'll see you there.